the northeast coast of Sardinia is one of the nicest places to sail in Europe. Why? Because of great sailing conditions, engaging navigation, amazing sea, beaches and scenery, authentic towns, local Sardinian culture, great food, many harbors, marinas and sheltered anchorages. The archipelago of La Maddalena is a national park and has stunning beaches, diving locations and hiking routes. But there is more. The southern coast of Corsica, with its beautiful harbor of Bonifacio, is just a few hours away and this is where we are heading now. Yesterday we have already tried to make this passage and get to Bonifacio. But the wind was too strong for the kids to feel comfortable and after getting into the strait and feeling the wind to its full force and taking into account that even stronger wind was forecasted, I have decided to just turn back and spend the night in the Maddalena. So here we are today. The wind and the swell are okay, although we still have reefed the sails and we are enjoying the passage. And Bonifacio is not the only nice destination in the south of Corsica. The places like Porto Vecchio, Lavezzi Island and many nice coves should definitely be on everyone's list to visit there. But I have to say that Bonifacio is really a special case and you will be able to see it for yourself. As closer we approach the coast, as more and more spectacular the views become. It's not for nothing that they say that the best way to enjoy the beauty of this place is by sea. The 70 meters high cliffs, eroded during centuries by winds and sea, are now an artwork created by Mother Nature. One can compare them with the white cliffs of Dover, however, here's its limestone and not chalk. Therefore, it looks like the winds have been more merciless to these cliffs than to the English ones. They are fascinating in their own ways. Bonifacio is the oldest town of Corsica and the southernmost town of France. People often call it the best kept secret of France, as not many foreign tourists exploring the country come here. The old town of Bonifacio on the top of the cliffs is perfectly preserved and is overlooking the Strait of Bonifacio. It is in fact a natural fortress surrounded by water from south, west and even north. The long curve behind the cliffs creates a beautiful and very well protected harbor which in the past was used for protection against pirates and now is very popular with cruising folks. Visiting Bonifacio was to some extent a surprise for our crew as in general we just planned a sailing trip at Sardinia and I have shared my plans for Corsica just a couple of days ago. So everyone is now really excited to enter this beautiful harbor after a good sail across the strait.
We didn't book a berth in advance in Bonifacio, while hoping to be lucky to get a place. It's not too late, just around 4 in the afternoon, and the marina is pretty big, so hopefully we will be able to get our berth in the harbor. And if not, uh, there is also a small inlet in the north side of the cove, uh, where they have moorings, so that's a backup plan. In the worst case, we can still, of course, sail further to another cove and anchor there for the night. Yes, we will be getting our berth for the night and the harbour master assistants will show us our place in the harbour. Okay, so here we are, docked and settled. The plan is now to have a docking beer, that's a tradition. Then uh, we'll go and settle everything, all the formalities with the harbor master, uh, chill a bit, and later we'll go and explore the city. Looking forward to it. And of course we like Bonifacio Harbour and the old town above a lot. A stroll along the cliff edge to the east as well as a walk through the old city to the west to the very end of the peninsula both reveal breathtaking views. There are many restaurants with terraces looking at the sea. The old narrow streets are picturesque and magic especially when lit by the setting sun. All in all it was a lifetime experience and Bonifacio will stay in our hearts. We will return here later and for now we will be planning to discover new sailing routes and will be telling and showing our stories to you. Stay with us. Thanks for watching.